When you live in the tropics on the water, there's two things that will keep you from starving. Fish and coconuts. And there are plenty of both amongst these remote islands. This is what we live off out here, that and banana pancakes. So Lee's whipped up these banana pancakes for breakfast. Eat the old banana pancakes, guys. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat travelling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Hey, hey, Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun I don't remember much from the night before just from the human touch And now I want more And now my memory Slowly coming back Cracks a smile upon my face but Then it all turns black Something about tonight Now it's gonna be your life. Coconuts, what incredible fruits. Yep, the coconut isn't a nut, it's a fruit. It's actually a droop. These droops do not rely on animals or birds to spread it around and help it grow, but it disperses itself into the ocean tides, sending it all over the world where it puts down its roots and grows. There is thought that the coconut fruit can travel up to 100 days on the ocean's tides and still germinate. The coconut tree can produce fruit for up to 80 years if it's cared for, and the tree can live to be over 100 years old. Up to 72% of the world's production of coconuts are from well-managed plantations in India, the Philippines, and Indonesia. There are over 100 species of coconut trees. Coconut trees are incredible. And here's just a few things that you can do with them. You can drink the water from the coconut. You can make the flesh into coconut milk. You can eat the flesh. They say the sap from an unopened coconut flour can be made into coconut vodka. Coconut oil is made from coconuts. Coconut water can be fermented into coconut vinegar. The coconut could be used as a flotation device. The three holes in the coconut are actually germination pores for the new tree shoot. And the word coconut came from the Portuguese. The three holes look like a face to them. The coconut husk can be burned as mosquito repellent. And in some countries, there are trained monkeys they use to harvest coconuts. Well, I think you'd agree, there's some pretty amazing facts about the old coconut. So we're talking about fish this episode. All right, guys. It's a bit underrated, I reckon, but one of these is essential if you live on a boat. A spear gun, and you've got an instant food supply on a boat. We use this a number of times, um, especially when we're in a location, we've run out of food and there's fish around. Nothing more rewarding than catching your own fish fresh. We're not professionals, we don't try to be. So this is our main bit of gear for when we're around the reefs, when we're diving, snorkeling and enjoying the area like that, we pull this out and we'll get ourselves our coral trout and all our small fish that we like to eat. We haven't targeted big fish, but this year I'm gonna target some bigger fish and I will get a more elaborate setup. But as a basic setup for a boat, I think this is just essential. The kids are starting to get into it now and it's brilliant. On another note, when we're trolling in between reefs, uh, different locations, then we've always got the uh, rod out. So when we're not using the spear gun and we're in between reefs or in between locations, this is in the water nearly the whole time. So this is what we get our larger pelagic fish on, like mackerel, mahi, uh, tuna. You can see this one here has been chewed a lot. We're getting low on our lures, so there's still a little bit of life left in this one, but um, that's been um, our tool for, yeah, while we're on the move. 
So it's a pretty simple setup. It's a TLD 25. It's just real robust and um, they're real hardy. That's our cruising setup. That's always out while we're moving about. All right, guys. So apart from the spear fishing and the line fishing while we're trolling, if those two things fail, um, the next best thing to do is find yourself a tropical island with some coconut trees and you'll end up with these. We make everything out of these. We drink the water. We make it into milk. We grind it. We grate it. We make it... Uh, curries whatever Sarah does with it she does a lot of stuff with it but um we put it in our smoothies and yeah these things are amazing and there's no shortage of them they are everywhere you're not going to starve here in the tropics we spent heaps of time at this next place and you will see why it's one of our favorite little islands here and this day was spectacular <laughs> She's at it again, ladies and gentlemen, cooking up a storm. What have we got going on there? We're cooking up the fish that uh, Lee and Taj speared today. So Taj got a coral trout and Lee got... Groper. Yeah, we don't know what it was. A grouper. But look at the table because we also got some crayfish. Oh, look at that, craze for days. Crayfish of the fishermen. A little bit of potato bake. Half-eaten loaf, fresh bread, and beautiful salad, coleslaw. You looking salad? God, flour so over the... arms. <laughs> Just looking like a kid in a bloody playhouse. So because the fish is really fresh, all I'm doing is put I've put flour on it and a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning, which is everybody's favourite. So nothing fancy, but it's just going in the pan just like that. Some butter, good old fashioned butter. And uh, that's dinner. We're all starving, we didn't really eat lunch today, so. Everyone's hanging for food, and we've got enough food for a lot of people, but we'll probably eat it all. Yeah, I reckon. Just give it a good nudge. Give it a good nudge. So, yeah, I've just got the pan a little bit low, I think. Turn it up. Get some heat in it. Get some heat in that baby. Maybe a little bit more butter. And then I'm still away there. I know, the one that you were going for. That one, is that in? No. That's the one I saw. Yeah, it's right up there. And they're black spots. We're going to run to Catalpa. Oh, Alright. Look at this feast. Let's dig in, guys. Just a big naughty mess. Oh, I need a haircut. I don't know if I can cut that. Like, how are you even going to brush that? Like, yeah. it's a big knot. You always brush it for me. I'm going to chop it. How short do you reckon, guys? Like here? Maybe a bit longer. Like a bob? Or just a trim? Or I should just shave it? Comment down below, tell me what you think. Next episode, I'm chopping this bad baby off. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, but that's what's happening. Stay tuned, subscribe and like, and we'll see you soon. Guys, um, we wrote a book, I wrote it, Taj Illustrated. It's called My Home is a Boat. We hope that you can go and purchase. Yeah, click down below. Thanks for joining us, guys. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.